Alright, so now let's go over the drag and drop feature of the MPC software. Now, I really like drag and drop. What you could do is you can make an audio file of either your track, your program, or your entire master, or a MIDI file. So once created, you could drag and drop it onto your desktop, into your samples pool, onto a pad, into another DAW. So you'll see here, there's two new icons on the MPC software. So you'll see export audio is the first one, and then export MIDI is the second one. All right, so before we could properly use them, let's go ahead and set up our drag and drop preferences in our MPC preferences. So from the software, let's go up here to MPC and then click on preferences. So we're gonna look for the drag and drop section. Okay, so here are our different preferences. We have include program volume and pan settings. Underneath that, you can bypass your program effects plugin if you want. So if you have an effect applied to your program and you don't want it to get bounced with your drag and drop, you could go ahead and you could click that here. I'm gonna leave that off. Now, audio tail length. It's gonna default, I believe, to one. So you wanna go ahead and put that to zero, especially for what I'm gonna be showing you. Otherwise, you're gonna have a beat long tail in your audio file and it's not gonna match up in your sequence. So here's the important part. For the audio drag and drop, you have your three different export options. You have track, you have program, and you have master. So I'm gonna keep it on track, but at any time, you could come back to your preferences if you have the need to bounce your program or your master audio. And then with your MIDI exports, you could either do per track or per sequence. Really nice. So once we're satisfied with our settings, I'm gonna hit okay. I have this drum track here. Go to a track with just a hi-hat. All right, that's just my hi-hat. And I have three different sounds used to create that pattern. And what's really nice is if I wanna be really neat about it, I could bounce that down to its own audio file. Super easy with the drag and drop. So I'm gonna go ahead and click here on the export audio option. You'll see it process and now it's lit up here in yellow indicating it has a snapshot of your audio ready to drag and drop. So what I could do is I could drag it right into our sample pool. And here it is right here. It'll name it whatever your track's named. And so that entire pattern that was on the grid is now in audio form. Heck, if I wanted to, I have Ableton right here. What I could do is I could drag and drop it to a track in Ableton. And it's the same thing with dragging and dropping to your desktop and whatnot. So now sharing audio files or MIDI files between your DAW choice is pretty much effortless. So I'm gonna show you another use here. Drag and drop could also be used as a freeze to track option when you're dealing with plugin instruments. So for instance, I have harp keys right here and I have the SB1200 ring on it. And as you can see the different notes here to create it on our piano roll. What I could do is I could go here and do another drag and drop audio export. All right, and now I'm gonna drag and drop it here to our sample pool. And here it is, the actual audio version of that melody. All right, so now really simply, I could go ahead and I could clear out this track, go ahead and drag this to an unused pad, throw it into sequencer real quick, and so at this point, we essentially got rid of the plugin track and bounced it down to this right here, down to an audio file. So now the plugin instrument is gone. We have an audio track of that melody. So this is a lot more convenient than doing a direct record to simulate a freeze to track. And we know that the more plugin instruments you use, you could start to cripple your MPC software. So this is a very good way to get rid of those plugins bounce them down to audio files, speed up your computer's processing all in one swipe. So now if I wanted to just quickly bounce down this four bar sequence to import into a DAW or something. And as I was stating before, we could go back here to the preferences, go back to drag and drop. And for audio export, I could do my entire master here. And now really quick, 
when I click it. So from here I could just drag and drop it to my desktop. So we quickly created a bounce down of our four bar sequence. You could of course arrange your whole song into one long sequence and quickly bounce it like this without having to go to export audio mix down as well. So there's just so many different uses here for this new drag and drop. Once again the MPC's workflow has been sped up and taken to another level. I hope you enjoy. Thank you.